from the PF today is not a small thing. It's not an internal matter of PF. It's an issue of very serious national consequences. It's not about Mr. Mao Samba. It's about Mr. Kainde Hichema wanting to obtain a majority in parliament that he failed to obtain through normal elections. The purpose of that is to give himself a majority in parliament that he needed to make constitutional changes, to make amendments to our constitution. He wants to effect changes to the constitution to perpetuate his rule, to entrench his corrupt regime in power for a long time. That is what, behind, what is behind this. It's not about the peer. It's about his own personal rule. We cannot accept this as a country. We must not accept this as a people. This will be the beginning of the destruction of this country. The Zambian people have been very consistent on the constitutional issues. They have never allowed the constitution to be manipulated easily. The Zambian people have resisted any efforts to manipulate the constitution. They resisted it under the PF. Mr. Akainde himself and his team resisted that under, on, on Bill 10. We should resist it the same way. Why does Mr. Akainde, why does he want to change the constitution? He wants to ensure that he stays in office much longer. He wants to increase the term of office from five years to seven years. He wants to remove the 50 plus one clause so that there's no rerun. He wants to remove the running mate so that he can appoint a vice president of his choice. These are some of the fundamental things he wants to change the constitution. They want the, the number to drop down so that automatically they have a two-third majority in parliament. And during that period, they effect the constitutional changes they want. This is not acceptable. We cannot continue on this path. Mr. Hitchlema is destroying this country. He has failed to deliver what he promised the Zambian people in terms of economic benefits. Now he wants to butcher the constitution of this country to protect himself from his failures. This must not be accepted. And it may not stop at the nine that have been removed. They may continue to remove more people. And in fact, those who remain also will be intimidated into supporting or tolerating what he wants to do. If we allow Mr. Hitchilema to take this path, the country will be destroyed for a very long time to come. A very dangerous precedent is being set. We know he won't stop easily unless you, the Zambian people, stop him. He has no restraint on what, what he wants to do. He is not a person who listens to other people and reverses things, changes positions. If he is not opposed vigorously on this path, he will go and do it. Let's not deceive ourselves that this is about the PF. What is going on in the PF is not about Mao Sampa, it's about Mr. Kainde Ichirema himself. You don't need to be intelligent enough to see that is Mr. Kainde doing what is happening. Mao Sampa and those around him don't have that capacity. This is Mr. Hitchlema's game and it must be stopped. Zambia is bigger than Mr. Hitchlema. 
He can play with many things, but he shouldn't be allowed to touch the constitution of this country. He shouldn't. The constitution of this country is not about Mr. Hitchlema, it's not about PF, it's not about UPN, it's not about any of us. It's about all of us. As we have repeatedly said, if this country is not good for all of us to live in, it will not be good for any of us to live in. They shouldn't deceive themselves that they can do as they wish. Imingala Toy has been promising his opponents should not come to this. He can do Imingalato with his colleagues or his opponents in the PF, but he cannot do Imingalato with the whole people, with the whole country, with the whole nation. It's too big for him. It will soon become a mouthful of sand for him to swallow. Enough is enough. He has crossed the red line. He has manipulated all the three arms of the state to save his own personal interests, to save his corrupt regime. They are busy enriching themselves while poverty is growing in the country. In addition to poverty, they should take away our constitutional rights. He must own the constitution enough. It must become something that he can change at will. That will not be allowed and must not be allowed. Sorry for calling you at short notice. But this is an urgent issue. We urge all the Zambian people. We make a clarion call to the Zambian people to rise up and take their stand on this issue. He can play around with the PF, but he should not play around with our constitution. Let's put up aside all our differences as citizens of this country and defend the constitution. Whatever differences we have, let's put them aside. In Kalamonga, I am even those who support him, even the masters of this puppet regime, should at least talk to him, even private, and say, Why, sana, this is too far. It's not sustainable. It's dangerous. Let's come together and stop this issue. These maneuvers by Mr. Hitlema will destroy this country for a very long time to come. Thank you very much.